Lucy Rhodes Featherston. He's here for it. He's excited for the Texas All Black Sevens player himself. He's come all this way to have a jam. Really exciting matchup this week. Well, they have PFT commentators <laughs> over there as well. <laughs> he, does, the he doesn't even play rugby. That's so great. <laughs> oh, so good to see. But you're right, Dallin. 14 countries are represented in the Sevens competition. I've been in many Sevens competitions. I've never heard that in my life. He was saying, I'm very, very proud of this Premier Rugby Sevens competition. Southern headliners take the field. Lucas Sheck is their player to watch. Coach by Tim Stanfield, DTH Fundamaba. Sam Walsh is their captain. Here's a look at their lineup. Absolutely. Headliners definitely one to watch. Number 77, Kationa Vike. All Blacks, Sevens player as well. Tommy Clark brings the physicality. Number two. And the headliners, of course, were champions for franchise overall last year. So they'll be looking to get an even better record this year. Here comes the Texas team, the home side. Led out by PFT commentator. Millions of viewers around the world will be enjoying that <laughs> as he streaks onto the field. Rhodes Featherston brings out the side. Team coached by Troy Hill and Kurt Morath. Yeah, big expectations on the shoulders of the side. Yeah, hey, look, PFT look fast. Somebody sign him up. As we talked about, Featherston, look how tall that guy is. Rhodes Featherston, number 98, over from New Zealand for his Texas team. This is the first time Texas have had a franchise. It's super exciting for the area. Number 11, Rurich, another one to watch out for. Plenty of speed, but what I'm hoping they have, Dallin, is a tolerance for this heat. Well, they've been here training all week. Some of the locals, of course, will be enjoying that. Almost 100 degrees here in Austin. Big bodies doing damage on the field. Southern headliners. In their sleek pink. Ready to go with Sam Welsh. Haley Aguirre is our referee. Gave birth to McKinley in the spring of 2021. Back on the field that summer. She leads by example with the whistle. Yeah, that's tough. Second men's semi-final. Texas received in the side. Good take there from Timo Vine. Player out of the Netherlands. Early penalty goes their way. <laughs> Very clear instruction there. You can attack that ruck. You've got all rise to it, but you must stay on your feet if you don't get cleaned out. And at the end of the day, as every rugby player knows, the referee's always right. As the Texas try and go for touch, but Katana Vise is all over it. Yeah, Jerome Nale's kick, not finding touch. Chance here for the headliners. Look to launch an attack. Here comes Vai getting the big strong fan to the halfway line. The All Black Sevens flyer won the series this year, did New Zealand. Yeah, massive. We've got players like Vai on your screen from the All Black Sevens, current World Series champions. You've got players from Fiji, current Olympian champions. And I think USA, you know, fastest growing team in the World Series. There's some serious athletes out here. I can't wait to play, Dylan, next week. Yeah, we can't wait to see you in action, although we'll be missing you in the booth, but we'll get you back for the Eastern Conference Bye. final. Will Chevalier is one of those USA Sevens players. Saw him at the Hong Kong Sevens earlier this year. He will feed the scrum, and then look out for Lucas Sheck, who's out wide, the Canadian winger. Great to see these players playing together on the same side. That's what Rugby Sevens is all about. Everyone stays in the same hotel, eats the same meals access to the same facilities. Walsh, good ball. Kitty Onivai in midfield. Big jump step. Gets over a couple easily. Vai looking for the line. New Zealand seven sensation. And now Pio seventh try scorer. The Southern headliners have their first try. And it's taken the wind away. Absolutely. A sicky sail through the ear. Does Vai. His strides are so long. His speed becomes deceptive. We see clean feed here, and like you said, Dylan, I for all money, you'd think they'd give it to Sheik, the speedster, but Vai with the quick, hot right step, massive palm off, and then look at these strides. He just strides his way into fourth gear, sails over that line for a try, and he gets a rest for it. Conversion will stay to the right-hand side, 5-0. The headliner is strike first in this game. I mentioned their coaching crew, Tim Stanfield, 750 star, the DTH Fundamava, played for Canada for many, many years, including World Cups as well. 
as you said, it's great to see these players giving back to the game and quick rest for the try scorer. Yeah, absolutely. And the headliners, you know, I was chatting to the boys in the hotel. They came second just about every time last year. They really want to get some titles under their name. They want to get the wins. So they're not here to muck around. Welsh goes to Jerob Nale, USA 7s player, known as the thief, often stealing tries on his own. Chris Orich, the youngster, whoops it wide. Good pick up in the end. Timo Vine cutting back nicely. Played rugby for the Netherlands. One of the 14 countries represented this tournament. Again, with an attack. Here comes Rhodes Featherstone. First touch for him. The All Black Sevens player fights, keeps his hair out of the fray. Number 98 on his back, does well, gets Texas on the front foot. Lina Latu stepping through. Lina Latu, you can't do that to him. Give him any space, and he'll cut you to shreds. Texas on the ball. Wow. Lina Latu just says, I'm going straight to that try line. Headliners were trying to hold up Rhodes on their defense, but they just couldn't handle this footwork. If we see here, bang. That is so difficult to anticipate, especially when a player accelerates like that. The deception and the change of speed. Oh, we that is hard to defend. Well done, Latu. From a wide receiver at Eastern Michigan University, played with the American Raptors and Super Rugby Americas. And we can go Latu, I can talk about him. I've got some just nuggets from the coach. Cool, Wendy. What are they? Talking about Lean Latu, he's out of the Raptors program. He's a crossover athlete, just a phenomenal asset to this hometown team. Team, And talking about that assist, Road Feathertones from the All Black Sevens program has just been a stalwart as he makes an amazing tackle there for this side as well. Thanks, Wendy, a heck of a player, Road Featherstone. And Lina Latu, seen him, as you said, in the Super Rugby Americas. Also Falcons, too, with the USA side as well. So he's one of those up-and-coming players the Eagles are keeping their eyes on. Yeah, there's a massive, massive uh, call here. Rhodes was bringing the physicality. He gets the ball, and then the referee deems that Bailey was slowing down that play, which in sevens, timing is everything. If you try and steal it, the ref won't have it. Scroll down the Texas. Unfortunately there for Don Bailey. He'll go to the side. Currently coaching at Davenport University. Getting married September 14th, 2024. Maybe he's missed said, listen, I don't want you getting the thick stuff. Got to keep your face nice and clean for the wedding. Yeah, absolutely. Well, message to his wife at home. He's always in the pool, always doing recovery. So he's looking after himself. But unfortunately, at two minutes, his team will have to go without him. An opportunity for the Texas team. They're up 7-5. Two to go in the first half. Down the short side, they sneak. Craig Hunt, 1-1. Excellent tackle, Hunt pops it, keeps it alive. Good support running, Timo Viney's there. He's worked well. Featherstone, Rhodes Featherstone, named off the great cricket player, John T. Rhodes from South Africa, on oh, the space again. Craig Hunt gets the offload, Nale, the thief, steals one back. And Texas have their second score and extend the lead at home. No way, what was that offload? They teach you to do offloads to the left and the right, but that was backwards and upside down. I'm pretty sure it's Hunt. Watch this. He knows he's going and he just chucks it back around. Looks more tangled up than me with this microphone cord. But in the end, he gets the try. Running off the mate of his shoulder. How good. So good. Conversion as well from the try scorer, Jerome Nale. USA 7 side. Also, the American Raptors and the Santa Rosa Rugby Club. All set up for that man in picture. Craig Hunt gets a well deserved rest. They're up 14 points to five. And after Kidioni Vice got for the headline, it's been all Texas. Yeah, absolutely. Nale gets the conversion and he'll kick his team off as well. Texas really taking hold of the second half of the first half. It's gone 10, so it's knocked back. It's okay. Pick up here for Oliver McKenzie for the Texas side. Just the knock eventually creeping in there. This in the men's semi final. Rhodes just double checking. He got up so high to get that ball back for his team. So we have a look. Referee said that's half time. So this will be, in fact, the last play. Vi was trying to enter the game. Like you mentioned, him, Dallin, he had such a super start for the headliners. But he's going to take a sip because this is the last play, the last chance, the last shot for the headliners to have their say before the halftime hurt it. We haven't even seen Lucas Sheck with ball in hand. Nale, looking at the right of your screen, is Will Chevalier. 
teammates just giving each other a couple of words as well as they lock horns here in Texas. 14-5. The Texas team lead. Chevalier, Samuel, you two on the field for his side as well. Chevalier cracks it on. Looking to go wide. A jump step for Welsh. Here comes Lucas Sheck. Oh, he leaves it behind. The first pass to him. Perhaps seeing where he could exploit the gaps. Colson Warner on the field for the headliners. Across they get possession. And then Jasper Green looks to cut up the middle. The good flick is there. Boititu flips it away. Chevalier, a bounce ball to Sheck. It'll go into touch. But it's not what the headliners want. In the end, it is the halftime whistle. Yeah, Sheik, unfortunately, we know how fast this guy is. Hasn't been able to inject that pace into the game yet. So it's the Texas side that lead this one. Slender, 14 points to five. Time for a quick break before the second half comes up. And who will win this one and join the New York locals in the final? We'll find out after the break. Welcome back here, the home side, the Texas side lead 45 against the headliners, playing in tournament one or five. All important, the points that are on offer here. Of course, first place will get you 13, and then it goes down from there. But mathematically, it's possible to come fourth, win the next tournament, and still top. Yeah, that's why these specific numbers are so important. So Dylan's saying you could come fourth in the semi-final, but then in finals round, if you get the full amount of points, which will change again, you can still make finals in Washington, D.C. So every single game is so important for these teams and also there won't be any draws because of those numbers shout out Owen he's really put a lot of thought into this as Texas kick us off once again they go very deep and go out of course that next one in the Eastern Conference Finals July 23 in Pittsburgh Pennsylvania Highmark Stadium hosted by the Steel Toes but we're a long way from there of course as things heat up yep 14-5 so out on the full an opportunity here for the Southern Headliners yeah I, I do like that tactic though from Texas you can see Nale. He's trying to hit Rhodes. Featherston in the high ball. Featherston's just been bringing all kinds of physicality and aerial skill. So that's where Texas will aim. But the Southern headline is now a midfield scrum, extremely difficult to defend. Attacking teams can go either way, they can switch late. Will Chevalier. Ambassador for Kambuchakade goes back on the inside. Lucas Sheck leaves it behind yet again. It was the. Right line, just got ball and all. Jeez, you can see what they're trying to do there. The headliners, there was a gaping hole in the middle. If that ball had gone to hand, could have been danger for Texas. <laughs> There's nothing better than some scrum banter. Referee wanting them to cut it out. See Green there against Featherston. Put a banter back and forth. Well, Haley Aguirre, she's a teacher as well. Math teacher it is, just telling people where to be and what to do. Yeah, she's going to teach me a thing or two. How to make Rhodes feathers and stop telling jokes. Still haven't learned that. You see that Doyo is going to feed the scrum, and now it's Texas who will have the opportunity to attack after a shaky start from both sides. But Doyo wants to build out. Full penalty for the Texas team. I think, too, you know, once the ref is over the banter, they just either short arm or they penalise you. But Featherston knows the physical dominance Texas home side can have, and he wants to get the scrum right. Important five minutes of this game, Texas lead. 14 points to five, the semi-finals. The winner faces the New York locals later tonight. Welcome to our local audience and those around the globe. Nale comes across field. Looking to free up some space, but they leave the ball behind to the Texas team. Good strong tackles from the Southern headliners, still fighting their way in this game. It will be a scrum headliners, but if that ball had been held by Lancaster, Amir Lancaster, number 12 for the Texas home team, he is super quick. He trains with Kyle and Niles, if you know the USA Eagles, that's the fastest man to ever grace the World Series. So this guy right here, if he gets the ball in his hands, he is quick. I would hate to chase him. He's a big frame as well. He did a couple of interviews this week for the media. A lovely play off the field also. These rugby players have such great, interesting backgrounds. We mentioned all these different countries represented and a lot of USA and Canadian stars. Chevalier. 
USA Sevens Club champion with Chicago. They'll leave it behind is Nale. Looks to go for a couple of steps. Jerome Nale. Oh, then he runs in a cold shoulder from Tommy Clark. A massive hit. So Lamadoya moves it away for the Texas side. They retain position. Here comes Emil Lancaster. Gets defenders while Lancaster driving the legs. Bye comes across. The ball's been knocked backwards. It's play on and then lost forwards. So now it's a chance for the Texas side. Diving in and scorching in. An opportunistic try. And they get it done. Paul Habib try for Texas. That was awesome. They finally got the ball into the hands of the winger, Lancaster. But it was a full team effort. The scrum had to be done right. All this passing had to go to hand. They took it right to the other side. And it was a try by Habib in the end, who just had a heads up. Never gave up. They were there in their threes. And he ends up getting the try for his team. Much needed. Pushing that lead out, 19 points to five. That was Benson, Salam Adoya, my fault there. It's lucky for a great score. Three tries to one right now. A big moment in this game for the home side with their home fans. You can see their coach, Troy Hall, Kurt Morath as well. Two international coaches all over the USA. Kurt Morath, one of Tonga's greatest as well. It was Adoya, apologies there too. As the Texas kickoff just goes astray, doesn't go 10 metres. But how good to see the home side linking up like that. Lancaster lives here in Austin, Texas. So does Carlin Isles. Hopefully he'll be out here somewhere supporting his team. But to me, such a short turnaround. The chemistry is so, so important. You've got to learn faster than the other team how to play with each other in a rugby context. Execute skills, work to each other's strengths saw the physicality how important that is you need your speed but you also need these big guys like Tommy Clark Rose Featherston to really assert your team's physical dominance saw the coach DTH from the Mav on the side won the MLR with Los Angeles part-time model as well position for the southern headliners Welsh good switch Kitioni Vai comes off his wing gets a couple of angry fans Ball is okay, it's down there for Chevalier, known as Chevy. Headliners need to strike now with 90 seconds to go. Vi up against the traffic. Penalty stays with his side. It's a quick tap from Sam Welsh. Cal Varsity Bear player. Finds the big frame of Max Nauthi. Two quick penalties in a row and another quick tap for Chevalier. Whoops it to the right hand side. Here comes Samuel Boyotu. Jasper Green bounces off his right, linking up nicely. Chevy is there. Good connection with Walsh. Nauthi on the outside. Kitty on Ivai puts on the afterburners. And the New Zealand flyer may have his second. Yeah, time off here. This is a crucial try for the headliners if given, which I think it will be. Amazing refereeing there. Goes to a oh! sideline touch. Goes to the try line touch, they both give the nod. And that's a try that the headliners desperately need at the moment. They'll need another couple as we see by the try score getting up. He still had a bit of work to do. He had to put on a bit of speed there and he just gets the ankle tap. As we have a look here, touch on the try line there, saying she's happy with this grounding. That top of the ball there, maybe skimming the grass. She had the best view, I'm not going to argue. Try awarded. Kick unsuccessful though. So still two score game. 19 10. The Texas team lead looking to get into their first final ever. They'll take the New York, New York locals waiting, watching on on the men's side of the competition with 30 seconds to go. Pretty awesome for the Texas home side to get into their first final. It's taken all of them though. I think they've really worked cohesively as a team. We saw them in Memphis, Tennessee, and they back here again. And Nale has this one. A lot of numbers as well. Vine floats it forward. Headline is there. Chivalry just really trying to rack up his team to have a positive end to this game as we see White walking back into position. He knows they won't win it. But can they finish on a high? Finish on a good headline. 
team from Memphis, Tennessee, with their final say in this game. Down by nine points. Walsh Coleman for his side. He gets driven back in a good, strong tackle. Chevalier is there in support as well. So is Habib. You two along the chain to Max Nauthi. Six siblings, he flicks it there, loose ball. The Texas team will win this one. And that is confirmation. It is a historic first final for the Texas team. They will take on the New York locals later. A great performance in the end. PFT commentator in picture. He says, this is brilliant. Put me in the final. <laughs> He's still there. He's happy, and so he should be. I think the Texas team, you know, every single one of their players played a crucial role. They got line breaks, but it took somebody else supporting to finish off the try. That's, that's what teamwork is about, really living out their name. We can still even hear Rhodes, Featherston, making sure they're doing the right thing as a team. Well, we can take a short break. It is a brilliant finish in the end from the Texas team. They win 19-10 against the headliners and secure their final spot. Highlights and more after the break. Stay with us here from QT Stadium in Austin, Texas.